Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial, my name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over how to create your own fonts for your own games. So these fonts that we'll create you can use also in other applications like Photoshop or Word. So this is more like creating a custom font that can be used in multiple applications. So as you notice over here I have a quick setup from my game that I'm working on and you'll notice that within the game and all the parts of the game I'm using a similar font and this similar font I have basically made from scratch. So the first thing you'll have to do is go along to this website here, myscriptfont.com, be a link down in the description below. So basically this here, uh, you download the PDF or the PNG, print it out, use a pen or you can open it in a paint program and fill it out, then you'll upload it back here and it will turn it into a file format. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the PNG version, uh, I'm going to do it on the computer, so I'm going to, it will open up this, right click, save the image my font let's just call it that and then save it so that will be on the desktop again if you want to print out the pdf or something and do it by hand feel free to do that so once we have it saved what we want to do is we want to open up gimp or photoshop or something like that and basically we want to go ahead and open it and open it from the desktop here like so and then go ahead and fill in the grid so i'm just going to go ahead and do that now so a new layer transparency on top. So when you are doing these, I highly recommend that you use a fairly harsh brush. Uh, you don't really want soft edges as it doesn't really look very good, so try use a brush uh, that has a fairly rough outline. Alright, so once you have got your main letters written out, uh, you can go ahead and do the lowercase as well if you need them, but if you don't, just go ahead and copy all of these and then just paste them down underneath. So just for this tutorial sake, I will go ahead and do all the lowercase letters, uh, but if you don't want to, then just select them all, copy and paste them, and put them in the appropriate places. Alright, and once you've finished that, uh, you can also do numbers if you are planning on having numbers in your game. Again, this entire font that I'm doing is very scrappy and uh, fast, just to get it sort of over and done with, uh, but of course, if you're doing the real thing for your own game, you want to spend a bit of time on each character. So. Alright, and then in here, we have all the sort of punctuation. So once you have most of the punctuation done, then what you want to go ahead and do is just clean it up. And then also, if you would like to, you can add these extra symbols here. Really just use them if you think you will actually use them, or you'll have multiple languages. But otherwise, if you're not going to use that, just leave them out. So once you have finished all of this, then what you can do is go File, uh, Export As, obviously Save As in Photoshop or Paint or whatever, uh, My Font Upload and then save that to the desktop. Then go back here to our browser, uh, go back to this page, then uh, choose file, and we'll go down to our desktop uh, and choose our font. There we go, uh, and then choose file. Now here, the output format, uh, fairly important. I think normally most fonts have open, uh, but if you want to, you can just use uh, TTF instead. So I'm going to use OTF, and um, let's go ahead and call it my special font, and then start. And so that will process, it will upload the file, uh, and then sort it all out. So there you go, there is our custom font that we've made. So once you are happy with that, you can click on this and it will download. There we go, in the bottom corner, and yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So now what you can do is you can click on it and you can install it. So if you click on that, that will install like so. And so now if I open up Word, this is just one example that happens when you install the file. But basically now you can go type in this and then from here you should be able to select it. And there we go. If we scroll down, you can see we have our font that we just made. So this one right here. So let's go ahead and scale up the size. And as you can see, it's all wonky. Um, example text. And then we can have our wonky exclamation marks that we did. All right, so back in Blender here, what we can do is go File New, open up a new file, uh, delete that, add a text object, and then go over here to Text. Um, I know, type something, example, uh, score. Just something like that, then maybe exclamation mark. And then what we'll do is click Open over here, go to the Downloads uh, where we had it, and then just choose it from there. And there we go, there's our font in game. So now you can also update it uh, with timers and all of that stuff. So as you can see, it also works in game. Uh, you can have numbers that are constantly changing like so, uh, and that add on. So maybe you wanna use it for score or something uh, or lots of different parts of the game. So anyway, that is about it for this tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a like, comment, or share down below. Hopefully you guys will find it useful. If you have any other suggestions or anything like that, also let me know down below. But apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.